The technology behind this machine is one of the reasons nanofilm technologies grew from a university research project to a multi-million dollar business. The key to the company's success lies in its wear-resistant carbon coating, which can be found on many consumer products. And the man behind the patent is founder and chairman Xu Shi, a former professor turned businessman. This unique and proprietary coating technology that you've developed is now being applied to smartphones and other electronics. Tell me what it actually does. Okay, so if you look at in our fleecy segment, we provide decorative and functional coatings, mm. and those are different colors, and you can transform a silvery uh, basic material into all kinds of colors with a lot of unique different surface properties. And these are the parts we use in the automotive. The piston ring mm -hmm. is used in uh, very famous Japanese uh, companies, uh, all of the models. So this uncoated, this coated, almost similar color, but this will allow this engine to save petrol, to cut down emission. Can this coating technology be used in other industries? What are you exploring? We do like all the areas people need wear and tear protection, corrosion resistance, for example, to replace green, to replace electro plating, for example, and to replace those very expensive connectors coating. All the connectors we use, they have a noble metal coating, so we can replace that, and we can use in all the car engines. We can use for fuel cells. This is the fuel cell example. This is the next big thing you're working on. Next big thing, yes. And it's a very impactful area because it forms a fuel cell to utilize hydrogen green energy for our new generation of... Uh, it's going to solve our energy issue. When you look back at your 30-year journey, taking Nanofilm's technology from lab to marketplace, did you ever think you would be this successful? I think it's one can't really uh, think too much into the future in a way that you must maintain a vision, but if every step towards what you are going to do the next, if you think too much, you calculate too much, you will find a lot of factors and reasons to hold you back. Right? Sometimes you need to follow your impulsion, follow your, what the vision calls. So, I'm a person typically, I think, uh, a little bit numb on that side, so I don't do a lot of calculation <laughs> <laughs> on my next step, right? So, but I'm a, I think I have vision. I have passion. So I, I have internal drive towards the area, the direction I want to go. And sometimes I just, just go out of impulsion.